Thank you, my dear. My name is Colonel Frank H. W. Miller, and I am most thankful to be addressing you today. When I was younger, one of my favourite musical artists was Elvis. He sang so many songs in a rather excellent manner. Several times over the years, my wife, Mrs. Miller, has commented on how she has seen my foot tapping along rather frantically as I listen to some of his hits on my gramophone. What a treat for my ears! Suspicious minds, always on my mind, and are you lonesome tonight? Are all firm favourites in our household? However, the definite top Elvis classic for me is The Wonder of You, which was number one for six weeks in the summer of 1970. It was also his last number one in the UK hit parade while he was still alive. When no one else can understand me When everything I do is wrong You give me hope and consolation You give me strength to carry on And you're always there to lend a hand in everything I do. That's the wonder, the wonder of you. The song recounts how a special person has made a gigantic impact on Elvis's life. He asks questions about the person, as well as singing about how incredible he thinks this person is. He is obviously grateful that this person is in his life, and often thinks about them. I wonder, how often do you stop what you're doing, and take time to think about things? Not just what drink you'll have on later, or whether a certain programme is on the television today or tomorrow. No, when is the last time you stopped and thought about important things? Do you ever wonder why you're alive? Do you ever wonder about God? Do you ever wonder why Christmas and Easter are still celebrated by millions of people around the world in the 21st century. I frequently stop to wonder about life and death. The Bible says that all people have done wrong. It uses the word sin. Sin blocks us from having a personal relationship with God because we can't live according to his holy standards. This is very serious. Jesus came to earth to die on the cross on Good Friday. Jesus was the divine sacrifice that enables us to approach God again. There is no other way to God apart from knowing Jesus as your Saviour. The old hymn by Charles Wesley, Love Divine, talks about us being lost in wonder, love and praise when we see Jesus in heaven. I want to encourage you today. Don't leave to start thinking and wondering about Jesus until you're dead. There has been no one on earth like Jesus since time began. He wasn't just a special person. He was and is the Son of God. Asking him to come into my life was truly the biggest milestone in my life and I've certainly had several big moments in my life. Make time to wonder about Jesus today. Ask him to speak to you. Ask him to make himself real to you and ask him to direct you in your life. Wonder about Jesus today and then give thanks to God for the joy and hope he is given to you. Now many of us have friends and family members who love us and encourage us despite our failings. Jesus will accept you for who you are. He loves you. 
he died and then rose again for you. Trust him with your life. I hope to discuss some more in topics, important topics with you in the future, but in the meantime, open your life to God and ask him to speak to you. Put God first. Seek God above everything else. Make him the top priority in your life. Stay safe everyone and cheerio!